Nearly 50 years ago, four tons of glass plate negatives were removed from the Miss Everhard Studio of Photography and packed into a U-Haul truck to be transported from Leavenworth, Kansas to Chicago, Illinois. The move of nearly a century of Leavenworth and early Kansas history as it passed before the cameras of four local pioneer photographers left a void of primary source historical material for researchers, genealogists, and citizens. This is the story of Miss Everhard's Leavenworth Collection. We owe her and David Phillips of Chicago a debt of gratitude for preserving this invaluable piece of history and saving it for future generations. Hello, my name is David Phillips. Uh, my family lived in Leavenworth in the 1870s and in the early 1960s I took a trip to Leavenworth, Kansas to see if I could find photographs of, of my early grandfather's family. Uh, I was directed to Mary Everhard and uh, her studio on 5th Street and we became friends and for three years I would come over on the weekends and we'd look through the negatives. I eventually purchased Mary's studio uh, negatives and photographs uh, in uh, May of 1968 and uh, I'd like to show you uh, some of the photographers that uh, Mary had uh, collected. The earliest photographer as Mary recollected, Richard Stevenson, who came in to uh, Leavenworth in the 1850s. A very prominent photographer. It's another view of Mr. Richard Stevenson. When Richard retired, his son Horace took over the business and continued for many, many years. They were both wonderful photographers. Here's another good view of Horace, uh, most likely taken by his father, Richard. They not only took wonderful portraits, but they did a lot of industrial work, taking pictures of uh, stoves and uh, circus equipment. Another important photographer, E.E. E. Henry, came to Leavenworth in around 1868 or 1869. This is a young photograph of E.E. E. Henry taken from a daguerreotype. Uh, daguerre's uh, type started in 1839 and uh, were prominent through the 1860s. Here's another portrait of E.E. E. Henry. E.E. E. Henry was uh, prominent in uh, taking stereo uh, cards, three-dimensional three cards that were very popular. And uh, later on, uh, he married uh, Mrs. Putney, who had a son, Harrison, who took over E.E. E. Henry's business. Harrison Putney, who was an especially fine portrait photographer. Uh, Mary told me that uh, his mother had him trained by people like Laredo Taft and other fine artists. Here's another view of Mr. Henry with his camera and a friend of Dr. Elby, taken, I suppose, in the 1870s. This is a young Mary Everhard who's taking lessons from photographers in New York City. And she saw an ad in the New York Times by Mr. Putney about a studio for sale in Leavenworth, Kansas. And uh, Mary decided to come out and purchase the studio. And there she is, young Mary Everhard. When each of the photographers, Richard Stevenson, Horace Stevenson, E.E. E. Henry, and Mr. Putney left town, they left Mary a negative. She had 40,000 negatives all over her studio and she was very careful about labeling each box and going through each different subjects. Her fun labeling system was one box would be marked the most, one would be the very most, and then the last one would be the glory hole. Here's Mary working in her studio. She spent hours and hours sorting out negatives. She was quite a lady their studio. Oh, the glass negative. She had various sizes, 16 by 20 glass, 20 by 24, 5 by 7, 6 and a half, 8 and a half, 8 by 10, 3 and a quarter by 4, thousands of different glass negatives. Mary's photographic studio had formerly been a bakery on 5th Street and she converted it to a really nice portrait studio. And the upstairs, she rented out to a fella who was very tall, and she called him Longlegs. So Longlegs 
had a motorcycle and used to give her a ride every once in a while. And there's Mary putting on the motorcycle hat and off they went down Fifth Street. Mary was game for anything. This was Memorial Day 1968 when we were loading up the truck that was going to take the collection to Chicago. My son Rick drove the truck and they, they weighed the truck. It was four tons of glass and 40,000 negatives which we counted later on. You can see Mary standing up within the truck. This is Mary and I standing in the street in front of the truck just before the truck left for Chicago. This is Mary and Dave Phillips celebrating. Dave was happy to get the collection and Mary was happy to have someone have it that would take care of. We were dancing around in the studio. This is where we brought the negatives to my studio at 1230 West Washington Boulevard in Chicago. Uh, it was the studio of the old barn dance, which was, which was the first clear radio station in the country where uh, Gene Autry got his start. But this is where we sorted out the negatives. That photograph on the floor is a 36 foot picture that I uh, stripped together uh, from eight negatives of Elgin, Illinois in 1864. Another view of the studio. That, it was 6,500 square feet. This is just the one main room. This is the first bit of publicity we got for the Leavenworth Collection. It was uh, featured in the June 1970 issue of American Heritage. There's Mr. Henry and his friend, Mr. Elby. This little three by four picture, I was able to blow up, make a double page spread. Here's a beautiful panorama of the city of Leavenworth that I stripped together with three of Mr. Henry's negatives. Here uh, is a picture of the stone cutters making baptismal fonts in the Leavenworth prison by Richard Stevenson. Here's a panorama by Richard Stevenson in 1867. I put two of his negatives together to make this. This is one side of one of, of a negative of Mr. Henry's uh, stereo negatives of the railway depot at Leavenworth. Planners Hotel is up the street on the North Esplanade. Now, this is a print uh, enlarged from one of Mr. Henry's stereo negatives. Uh, the couple, uh, that's William F. Cody, Buffalo Bill, and his wife, Louisa Lulu Frederique from uh, St. Louis. They spent their honeymoon in the late 1860s in uh, Leavenworth. Mr. and Mrs. William F. Cody. Leavenworth was one of the jumping off places to the west because of the fort. You were safe with the Fort Leavenworth and the city of Leavenworth would provide all the provisions that you needed to go up the Santa Fe Trail. So uh, people like Alexander Gardner, who was a very famous photographer for Matthew Brady, came through in 1867 and he shot this picture of Fifth Street. This picture by Richard Stevenson always reminded me of the stories about Tom Sawyer and Mark Twain. These little kids are playing on a bridge down by the Missouri River. Here's another picture that Mr. Henry shot for his stereo negative collection, the Missouri River, and I put it together from three negatives on the South Esplanade. It took me almost a year to figure out that Mr. Henry, in his stereo collection, shot both sides of the street, which I was able to strip the two sides together and give a good view of Shawnee Street. Shawnee Street was very popular because of the star of the West Saloon and Delmonico's restaurant. And this was one of the five brothers that came from Italy, the Delmonico brothers, that had a restaurant in New York and I don't know how many other restaurants across the country. Mr. Henry's stereo negatives were so fine grained that this is from a half inch, a half inch of part of the negative in large. It's one of the street scenes of Leavenworth. Horace Stevenson, took this fine portrait of the prominent African-American men of Leavenworth. Wonderful streetcar view in early 1900 taken by Harry Putney. 
Leavenworth family out for a ride in their new car. Before Sarasota, Florida became famous for its uh, circus accoutrement, Leavenworth was very famous. The Parker Company made merry-go-rounds and uh, other companies made circus equipment. This was a Leavenworth song and dance man. This is an 11 by 14 wet plate negative by Mr. Henry. This is another one side of uh, Mr. Henry's stereo plates. This is the steamboat Luella on the Missouri River right at the Leavenworth Landing and it's ready for a 4th of July celebration. These are the 1860s soldiers barracks at Fort Leavenworth. This picture was taken by Mr. E.E. E. Henry for his stereo views. Portions of the original Everhard glass negative collection have been sold over time to other museums and individuals. In 1998, the Leavenworth County Historical Society at the Carroll Mansion Museum purchased nearly 28,000 of the original 40,000 negatives.